How is the going guys? Mutemo ya back again with another tutorial. So guys, in today's video, of course, how is the going guys? Mutemo ya back again with another video. So guys, in today's video, I'll I'll just do another full edit video because I'm in the process of editing these photos for my client. And um you can see this photo. Uh, I I you can see the light setup. If I can just go back to the photo um the settings, got the camera settings. Uh, yeah, these are the photos. I shot f3.2, that's why the sharpness is not too high because my lighting was actually very low and I had this backlight right here, not diffuse, so that's why you can see this very sharp light uh, passing through here. And also, uh, I use my 85 millimeter lens. Uh, guys, I'll show you some photos I shot with my 50 millimeter lens and they really came out nice in my next video, but for this one, I shot my with the 85 millimeter lens uh, shutter speed of one over one six because the main light was actually very low. You can see there is no much light on the legs, but don't worry, we'll uh, work on that in Photoshop. But I I felt I just wanted this kind of feel, not light splashing all over. And the first thing I'll do, of course, you can see I'm in the process. I was in the process of cleaning the background. Uh, this is how the photo looked. I'm sorry. Uh, let me just duplicate my layer once. Control J once. Sorry. My keyboard is misbehaving. Control J. Uh, what I'll do, I want to clean this background slightly. So what I'll do, I go to, hey, I've said what I'll do so many times. So select subject and wait for my computer to do the magic. So uh, create a mask there, and then on this background layer, create a new layer, empty layer. So what I'll do, uh, select gradient, then select right here, pick colors in your background. So select there, select this side right here, and select on the mid-tone right there. Then say OK, then drag it until you see the background is fully balance and more you can see this the background is clean just there you can see now we have the background clean and smooth but i feel it's so fake so what i'll do i just press uh shift and select on the uh the duplicate layer then control g and re reduce the let's reduce the opacity of the whole group so that we can see our image the picture looking amazing. So I feel that looks nice. So the next thing I'll do, of course, I want to uh, retouch this image. Oh, sh okay, <coughs> guys, sorry for that. I had paused slightly. Yeah, so <coughs> the first thing I'll do, I love to remove blemishes on this spe specific image. And guys, as I said, when you shoot with the low uh, apertures, your image won't be so sharp. So that's why mostly in my studio, I shoot with f1 f f5.6 7.1 because but our image still looks nice so let's merge all these together then control j control j twice uh just delete one layer then go to my actions then run my basic uh frequency separation uh what i'll do because our image is not so sharp i'll just put exact values of, let's say four or three, because I use that mostly for the images like this. And uh, select on the eye texture, pick healing brush tool, then just uh, sample and paste on the blemish you want to remove. I'm doing this as quick as possible. Yep, 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 yep. I'm editing these photos for a client, not like for a project I did. This was actually a paid shoot, so, yep. Uh, something I decided I'll, I, I'll be recording tutorials on even editing my normal editing videos because 
uh, I want to do I wanted to do something that clients people or other photographers can relate to like how you normally edit photos for your client yeah not I and retouch guys because if you normally if you shoot models and if you shoot normal clients there's difference between uh high end prices and also uh retouch normal retouch normal editing prices so if if I know many people can relate. So, yeah. What I st I did, I created, I p picked my mixer brush tool and started brushing. Guys, if you feel there's a video I need to do for my YouTube channel, uh, please let me know. Yeah, I'm working on how to be bringing every behind the scenes of every single shoot I do. So, yep. Just press R and rotate to pick every single part of your model's face perfectly. Press there. Go. So brushing perfectly. Yeah, like that. Press uh, escape to bring your image back straight. Let's brush, brush, brushing, brushing. I'm very specific. I'm not mixing. I won't mix this shadow right there and the highlights. I just, just retouch separately. Because that's the light uh, I was using on the head, like there. The yep, yes, it's looking nice. Perfectly. Just brush on the tummy right here. So far, it's coming out very, very nicely. Just mix. Perfect, perfect. We're doing a good job right here. So, yeah. So, I could, I should call this series how I normally edit. Or I could call it edit, 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 um, editing clients photos or editing just photos. In, I don't know. Just, just enjoyed doing this. So let me zoom control, uh, minus to just zoom out and see what we're really doing. Guess you can see before and after. We're really doing a nice job right here before we even balance the skin tones. Let's do frequent separation first uh, before dodge and burn. So, yep. Just reduce the size of the brush, and then brush the hand right here, like this. Yep. Like that. Perfect. I guess I messed up. I missed some. I missed something on the light on lighting this specific image. But I'll show you other images from the same series, which actually came out really nice. So, yep. Because if you can see the light on this other leg, it's not so much. So what I'll do, I just crop my image more upwards. No, I don't. I don't really like that back layer. I d I don't know why the client chose this specific photo because I felt I take an even better images. So uh, yeah, I think that looks nice. So what I'll do, I'll come here and select my. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
I'm trying to load my DB cups. That's Dodge and Burn, but I want to do like overall, like more like global Dodge and Burn, like overall Dodge and Burn on this specific image. So select uh, brush tool and then just let's brush the whole image like this. We just reduce the opacity because I just want to brighten our model's skin. Just, just trying to brighten it. Then I'll just reduce the opacity before I even turn off the visual aid. Yep. Turn on, delete the visual aid. Sorry. Delete the visual aid there. Before, after, before, after. So I feel this looking okay. Uh, then just merge everything together like that. Then zoom in your image slightly, like that. You can see this ant right here. It looks too, too dark. So what I'll do, i uh, run my, uh, freak, my dodge and burn action once more and just brush right here, like this. Again, like that. More, I had to do a more dodge and burn on that specific ant to just brighten it slightly. Yeah, and I feel now it looks nice. Control minus, and I feel that's okay. That looks nice so far. If I can show you how our image looks looked before uh, I brought it to, before I edited it, uh, this is how our image looked, looked before I brought it to Photoshop. And uh, I think it's this one. And I decided to edit this a little bit challenging image because I wanted to show you why you should never actually delete images. Because for me, I don't delete images. I just let the clients choose. And uh, yeah, I don't like I don't tell a client, oh, you have chosen a bad image uh, or the lighting is not good. I always try to challenge myself and just edit the picture. And you can see our image is in the right path. The light, the the... The, the light is balancing. So what I'll do, I need to balance the skin tones and now color grade our image. And yeah, come here to my actions and then run the even skin tone action. Uh, what I'll do, zoom in. Control, okay, sorry. Zoom in, my keyboard is really misbehaving. Sorry guys. Control plus to zoom in. Yep, I need to select the shadows, uh, highlights, and the mid tones. And to make it even easier, to make it easier, let me close this and disable this right there, like that. Uh, what I'll do, let me just delete this completely and run my event skin tone once more. Continue, continue. Continue. Control undo. Yeah, then delete this. Uh, what I need to do, I'll create uh, an empty layer that right there. Let's duplicate this once more. I'll create this empty layer like that. And then uh, what I'll do, I need to sample uh, highlights, shadow, and mid tones in my picture. This is what I'll do. I'll select my brush tool right there. And then Make sure it's like add brush, very add, and flow at 100 there. And then um, I'll, select, I'll select the shadows, the, the highlights right there. Increase the brush. Just paint it there. Let's select the mid-tones right here, like this, somewhere here. Yeah, that's at the mid-tones. And then let's select the shadows. There. Okay, now what I'll do, uh, you can see what we have right here. So let me run my, let me run my event skin tone action. Now with this, with this, what I'll do, I'll just select right here. Select on the highlights and select, pick that, shadows, 
pick that and the sh uh, highlights pick that uh midtones highlights and then shadows pick that and then say okay okay so we have this so what i'll do i'll just delete this and then select my brush tool and just paint right there like that if it's too much i'll just but you can see our picture is warmer i'll cool it I didn't do anything much in Lightroom before I just brought this picture in Photoshop. So that's why you can see I didn't balance the white balance that much. Yeah, and I was using one light setup. Sorry. Oof, select right there. Brush tool. Foreground color is white. Let's continue painting our image. Don't paint on the teeth, the mouth, the eye, eyebrows, the eyes. Just paint on the skin specifically. Yep, like this. Like that. Awesome, 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 awesome. Every single photo I edit for my client, I'll always make a tutorial because that's the only way I'll be making many videos as possible uh, for you guys to just watch and learn something, something maybe you haven't been doing on your specific images. Guys, understand that when your image has uniform skin tone, you can manipulate it to any color you want. So the, the idea is not to get perfect skin tone. The idea is to get uniform skin tones before you even color grade your image. And that's why I always balance my skin tones to just before I even color grade my image. So, and you can see it's a little bit yellowish. So, yep, we'll balance it. We'll work on it. Control, control, yes. We have a balanced skin tone on our model's skin. So what I'll do is just, let me reduce this slightly. Just paint slightly on the air like this. Okay, I feel this looks nice. Uh, what I'll do, I'll go to my selective color, and then select on the yellows, push this, this side, and then push the yellows to this side slightly, slightly there. And then go to my uh, blacks, push them inside, and then push the yellows this way slightly just not too much slightly there perfect uh, go to my reds and then push the cyan's this way and then the yellows inside like that of course uh, go to my color balance uh, let's start with the shadows see where our shadows will look nice the reds like this blues just there, just there. Okay, highlights, blue. Anyway, let me go to photo filter and choose the photo filter eight two. Yep. Then just reduce the density like this. Awesome. Now this, I feel it's really already we have managed to balance the skin tone from being so orange to being more subtle. And what we'll do, uh, I'll go to my, let me, let me, let me just create, export this as a lot. So shift and select and then go to file, export color lookup tables. Guys, anytime I correct something or I correct a certain color, I feel it looks nice, I always export it as a LUT. So, desktop. And I'll call this new LUT. New LUT. Then just save. Waiting for it to save. Okay, now it's saved. 
what I'll do, I'll go to my color lookup. Let me just merge everything together again. Then go to my color lookup. Sorry. Yeah, color lookup, load. And then where are my lots? Where are my lots, 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 lots? Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they are. So what I'll do, I'll select the five premium skin lats, of course. Select the this skin tone lat three. There. And what I'll do, you can see how my image looks right now. So I'll just duplicate this. Sorry. Disable the color lat, then duplicate this right there. Then select your subject. And then um, let's create let's create a layer mask. Enable this and then drag this up like this. Then just invert. Yes. Uh, I needed that to to dull to darken the background slightly to make my image pop even more. And I feel I have achieved what I wanted. So just reduce the featherness to something like that. Okay. We have this looking really amazing. And guys, remember, we haven't even do done uh, the glow doge and burn to make our images pop now even more. But I needed to balance the skin tone and make the skin uh, tone more natural and look nice for my just signature look. Uh, yeah, so what I'll do, I'll go to my color lats once more and load and then just go back and select this um, natural skin tone too. And then I feel that looks nice, but I don't, I want to limit it for the image specifically, not for the background. So I remember my selection, press Alt in my keyboard and then drag it up like that. And then just invert it because I don't want it on the background, then reduce the opacity. Yeah, I feel I feel uh, with that skin, uh, I feel this looks okay. This looks nice. Yep, this looks nice. Anyway, let me merge all these together. And then go to my um, DB curves. Yep, select on there. Uh, dodge dodge select the dodge curve then zoom in your image slightly uh select your brush tool reduce the size and make sure the flow is at one and then just brush on the highlights you want to make them pop and bling and <laughs> bling hey and bring more dimensions dimension in your image and make your image pop more you guys remember we had our brush at Add so I need to oh, uh, uh, oof, and do everything. No, 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 just delete that. Create a black and white layer up here, like that. Yeah, awesome. Brush, yeah. Some, t some photos really take time. Guys, always make sure you perfect photos on shooting. Don't fix it on post-production because trust me, it will take you so much time. And clients sometimes choose those photos. Maybe you are just trying to test some nice lighting and see how you can be creative with the lighting, but they choose those. They choose those. They choose those. Yeah, like that. There you go. Just, just zoom in out slightly like that. And then let's go on this part of the leg right here and then just brush it like that. Then create, delete the black and white and we have this nice looking, beautiful image right there. Now what I'll do, I just need to make the color of this outfit pop. But let me just first of all, Reduce the shadows on her eyes because I feel her eyes are a little bit dark. 
So just increase, dodge on the eyes to just reduce the shadows slightly. Yeah, so far, so good. Uh, what I'll do, I'll go to, just put this group right there, and then uh, Control Shift Alt and E to create a new uh, stamp layer or like a merge layer of everything, dodge and burn, like. Yeah, so what I'll do, I'll go to select, then select color range, and then I'll select on the outfit alone. Yeah, on the outfit alone, and then what I'll do, I'll understand what color is the outfit, and then just selective color. I feel reds, so just try to make it look awesome. Guys, you can change outfits to as, ma as many colors as you want in Photoshop, but don't overdo it or exaggerate it. Make it look so natural. Yeah, I feel that looks nice. Just yeah, I feel this already looks amazing. Before, after, before, after. Uh, yeah, the background we had already uh, color graded it. So what I'll do, I'll merge all these together once again, and then go to my actions, then run my eyes and teeth whitening. Then zoom in your image closer. Closer. Yeah, closer. Then select on the while layer. Guys, remember our target was 50, is already also still 50,000 subscribers, and I'm sure I'll get 50,000 subscribers. I believe in you guys. I really do believe in my fans. And if you just feel I need to change something, uh, upgrade something, or in this photo specifically, what I was doing is to show you never delete a photo because clients want it and you can make it look amazing in Photoshop. And that's why I always say, insist, please shoot raw. Always shoot raw. Always shoot raw. <laughs> uh, so far, our image, guys, if I can just come here to file and revert this image, I show you how my image looked before. This is how my image looked before, uh, immediately when I brought it to Photoshop, and this is how my image looks right now. You can always change and correct your image to make it look amazing and continue. So what I'll do, I need to, this right here, I just need to drag and drop. Awesome. Yep, I feel it came out nice. Just this right there. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. You can see our image is looking now awesome. Anything else I feel I need to remove? Yeah, I feel this is really looking nice. Uh, yep, that's all. That's all you can do. Five brands. I need to boost the tones to make them even pop more. Yes, with that, now my image looks amazing. Guys, that's all. Let me invert this because I don't know why it's really inverted. Yes, that's a, what you can actually do f to make a photo come from this. This is how my image looked and was how it really looked from the camera direct because I was testing. I used two lights, one very ash. You can see how it's creating this light, add light on our head. And just the outcome, guys. This is the outcome. See you in the next video uh, for more tutorials and how to make photos look nice because, yeah, and how... Because, guys, this was a tutorial to show you how I edit photos for my clients and why you should never delete photos. Atacama, like, let's say, <laughs> I said Atacama. Anyway, uh, let's say the lighting is not so good. You can always make your photo look nice because you shoot raw. Raw, I mean Nef, if you're using Nikon. So, see you in the next video. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>